Hello friends, this video on visualizing solid shapes part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are introduction, two-dimensional figures, three-dimensional shapes, faces, edges and vertices, nets for building three-dimensional shapes, drawing three-dimensional shapes on flat surface wherein we will discuss oblique sketching and isometric sketching, visualizing solid objects. The moment we talk about visualizing solid shapes, now the first question that might strike your mind is what exactly are solid shapes and what are we trying to visualize? So let us look around the things that we see around us. So they are of different shapes, different sizes and you see in order to for there are so many different shapes and objects and they are all identified by their dimensions for example length breadth width height etc for example let's consider this table so if i ask you to describe the size of this table how would you uh, you know kind of somebody who is not near that table how would you describe this table the size of this table to that person with the help of dimensions now when i say dimensions i am talking about the length of the table or the breadth of the table or the height of the table now when you give all three of these when you mention the length breadth and height the person gets a very clear idea about the size of the table so basically you need these three parameters to know exactly to get an exact idea about the size of this table you talk about a room so how big or how small a room is is again determined by the dimensions you talk about the length of the room, you talk about the width of the room or you talk about the height of the room. So only when you have all of these three, you get an idea about the size of the room. Not only room size or table size, most of the things that we see around us, they are determined by dimensions. Talk about a car. So in a car, this would be the length of the car. This could be the height of the car and this could be the width of the car and all these three together gives you an idea of the size of the car. In fact, a house. So if, if you observe a house from outside, so you will have something called as the height of the house, the length of the house and the width of the house. So you see in all of these objects, whether it's a house or a car or a table or a room, everywhere we needed three different parameters to completely describe their size. So all of these objects are example of three dimensional objects because we need three dimensions to completely describe them. Now the question is, is everything that we see around us, is everything three dimensional? Not really, we also come across objects which are two dimensional in nature. So we will explore the differences between two dimensional and three dimensional. So when we talk about two dimensional figures, these are those figures which have only two dimensions like length and breadth. Let us take the example of this playing card. So when you look at a playing card, if I ask you the size of a playing card, so what are the parameters that you would need to describe? So you will be describing the length and the breadth or the width of the card. So if you give me only these two values, I will get an idea about the size of the card. Now, when we talk about three dimensional shapes, we talk about something where two dimensions don't help. You need a third dimension. So you not only talk about length and breadth, you also talk about the height. So let us take the example of the same playing card. Now, instead of one playing card, if you take multiple playing cards and build a tower like this. So when you look at this card tower, this tower as a whole, do you think it is two dimensional or three dimensional? Now, if I ask you the size of this tower, what are the parameters that you need to define? You would definitely define the height of this tower. You would also define its length and you would definitely define its width. So this time you need three different things to be described in order to describe the size of this card tower. So what we observe is when it was about one playing card, it was a two dimensional object. But when there were multiple playing cards organized to form a card house, it was a three dimensional shape. Another interesting way of distinguishing between a 2D and a 3D shape is you take the playing card, the single playing card. 
place it on a sheet of paper or place it on the plane of the table what do you see you see that this card completely lies along the surface of the paper now a paper is two dimensional so in a paper you just have the length and the width so you always deal with two axes in a paper so if the playing card it fits exactly along the plane of the paper that shows that it is two dimensional but if you take this house the card house which we have built if we place it on a sheet of paper so do you think that it will lie along the plane of the paper no it will be kind of protruding over the paper that means there there is this extra dimension which has come into picture that is the height of this um, card house and that is why it is three dimensional so any two dimensional object when placed on a sheet of paper would lie along the sheet of paper whereas a three dimensional object will always appear to be coming out of that sheet of paper so that that, that is what we call a 3d look so instead of writing two dimensional and three dimensional we will be using the terms 2d and 3d so here in this slide there is another interesting thing that we have observed that whenever you look at any three dimensional shape that three dimensional shape is actually made up of two dimensional figures like here the card house which was three dimensional was actually made up of two dimensional playing cards thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you